Okay, so welcome one and all to our first and hopefully annual um, pitch session as part of the seed course. So it's fantastic to see that a week ago when I stood up here, um, I think a lot of you guys thought, what's this guy talking about? Now you guys have actually come an incredibly long way. You guys have business ideas that have been put together. You guys have code that you guys have written to support your business idea, models, funding propositions, and I hope some of you guys take it further. So you guys are the stars of the show today. We have our panel of four judges and a laptop. Um, on the laptop is our fourth judge from all the way from Waterloo, Ontario. Some of you guys spoke to him the other day. Um, that's David, who is our mentor and is also acting as one of our judges. We also have two representatives from a local accelerator center. I'd mentioned it, them to you guys before. This is Jen and Victor. So, yeah. So you guys are prepared well. So enjoy, be yourselves. You guys have five minutes. At my five minutes and 15 seconds, we will cut off. And five minutes for questions and answers. So good luck to everyone. And have a great afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine yourself you are coming from work. It's around 5 p.m. and you have just realized that at home you don't have food to eat. Your groceries are out. And actually you plan to go for shopping, but you find out because due to your business schedule, you, you can't go. As you are thinking about going to the, uh, to, for shopping, you find out you are thinking about this congestion in shops. This is one of the shops in Nairobi, uh, Nakumat. We have uh, these problems every day. That is congestion, lack of security, as you can see, a certain guy there, just down there, is trying to look around. <laughs> uh, time wastage, as you can see, there's a certain guy there, is trying yawning. It means he has been there for a long time. Now, Shopping Pub has a solution for you. <laughs> That's home delivery. This will be just your, the problems will be just solved by using your mobile phone. We are going to use uh, an Android application, mobile application, of which it works like this. Okay, so this is Shopping Pub. First of all, that's our application. Then you are going to have your choice, different market, your preferred market. Okay? So you can go to Napmat as your, uh, your shopping mall or your supermarket. And what do you want? You want some fruits. And at the same time, we are going to give you some fruits and uh, the cost. So, you want some apples? And thinking about your family size, you know that you need 10 apples. <laughs> then 10 apples, that's the total for 10 apples. Then, do you want anything else? Okay, yes, I want to add something. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to task us. Uh, there, I just want school su surprise because my children they are they don't have something okay so I want some pens then I want only two then two pens you have that then after that anything else no then you have your total cost our delivery cost and total amount that's the amount you are going to pay through different ways, whether mobile, uh, if it is mobile, you have the mobile there, mobile banking, or you can go to our website where you are going to 
have, where you are going to have any uh, different ways. Okay, why are we unique? We are unique because we have different shops. It's not just one shop. Different shops, and at the same time, you have a choice of a shop. Our target market, we are going to start with restaurants in uh, Nairobi. This has a population of almost 200,000 families. So we know that this place, they are busy working class people. At the same time, we have some high schools there, boarding high schools, whereby they, we know that the students will need something most of the time, so they are going just to contact us. How are we going to make money? We are going to be in partnership with the different shopping malls. These shopping malls will be advertising on our website. At the same time, as we are delivering your services, uh, delivering your goods, we are going to charge something out of that. We are also welcome independent advertisers on our website, those who are uh, manufacturers for different products. Uh, we, our structure will be like people will be ordering some goods at specific time and we are going to have a fixed delivery time. If you want something in uh, agent, you are going to pay more. There will be an extra fee for that. Next time you want to shop, just purpose. <laughs> okay, we're just, before we announce the winners, we're just going to have a really quick talk by Jennifer Bravacek from a startup incubator based in Cape Town and in Nairobi called 88MPH. So when we talked about, when I told you guys your intended audience is the investor with $10,000, this is your investor with $10,000. <laughs> First of all, thank you very much for uh, the pitches this afternoon and for inviting us to come and be part of this. Uh, I just wanted to let you know we launched an accelerator program about two weeks ago here in Cape Town and we are open for applications at the moment. We're looking for good ideas to invest in. Um, the idea of the accelerator program is to help really young ideas. So um, in the beginning phase of the idea where you get feedback on what you're doing, um, get mentors in from abroad, from the area that understand different business modules to help you and guide you during that time. Um, and the program will begin on the 1st of February and the deadline for applying will be the 15th of December. If you are interested in partaking in an event that we will be having end of November because you maybe have a good idea or you want to join a team and we are looking for teams that are wanting to network with each other, then apply on our website by the 15th of November. What I'll do is I'll prepare an email for you and send it to Arun next week, and then he can just forward it to you. So if anybody is interested in the program or has questions or even just wants to come to events because you find the whole startup scene exciting and you want to know a little bit more about the tech scene and what's going on, then definitely uh, contact me and just yeah, send me an email. Thank you. And Bruce is going to. Just, just to ah, okay. Hi guys. Uh, it's, it's, it's really great to to listen to you guys. Uh, I wish we had this opportunity also, and I was also here. The ideas are really good, and some of them are really thought through. So, but what, one one good thing that we realized when we were judging was, it's really difficult to tell if uh, the whole group took part in the in the discussion. Because when you answer, when you're asking questions, the presenter has got all the answers. So it would be nice that next time when we do this kind of thing, we we leave room for the, for for some of the group members to to do the the answering. Then it would be easy for us to to judge also. And also, I mean, I hope these ideas are not just for here. Some of you guys should take these up and and really follow them through somehow. Not as a as an individual, but as a group. It would be interesting to to email Arun, he's really interested in taking this up and follow this up and don't leave it in this room. Okay? Thanks, guys. Okay, okay so the nominees are for best app. <laughs> <laughs> Education Infinity, they're three. Yeah! Shopping Pup. and Scholarship Filter. 
And the winner, best app, goes to Shopping Pup. <laughs> Deborah made a prize, but unfortunately, apparently you all ate it. It was the cake. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> but congratulations to everyone. Uh, great job. Um, and uh, I think it's a very exciting component to add to the AIMS curriculum. Great.